Hi, my name is Julie Kamla. I'm the girls' tennis coach. I'm going to try and make this short and sweet because I've tried this like 20 times already and I'm not very good at this. So, I am blessed to be back for a 17th season with the team and I am also blessed to have some fabulous people assisting me. Brian Baker, middle school science teacher, and Carly Anderson, uh, speech. She works with speech students in the district, will be your JV coaches. And then uh, Dennis Cruiser is back to be our volunteer assistant coach, and we find his help invaluable. Uh, so thank you, Dennis, for returning again for another year. You have team captains. Jenna Carnes is your second year now senior captain, and Julia Green is a first year senior captain, and Callista Robotesky is a first year junior captain. Uh, if everything goes the way we want it to, we ex you know hope that it does. Your season would start on August 11th, which is a Tuesday, um, not very far from now. And what do you need to get that season started? You need to have your own racket, and if you have questions on how to choose a racket, look it up on the internet. There's so much information out there that's very helpful. So just Google in, how do I choose a racket? Um, and you'll find a lot of helpful information. I would suggest not getting one at Walmart or Target just because you want one that's going to be um, a little more reliable, one that one you need to have it restrung. It's worth restringing rather than paying as much to restring it as you did for the racket itself. So that would be my thought. <clears throat> You'll need your court shoes for playing. These can be tennis court shoes or volleyball court shoes would work as well. You don't want to play in tennis or in running shoes. Uh, you do need running shoes for when we do the running for fitness. So um, both, yeah, court shoes and some running. You don't buy new running shoes. Just make sure you have shoes to run in. Water bottle large enough to hold plenty of water. We have no drinking fountain at the courts and. If you're on the, on the court when it's match time for three hours, you're going to need a lot of water to replenish what you're sweating out. So make sure your water bottle is good sized and probably an insulated one because it's pretty hot on the courts as well. You'll need a positive, ready to learn and improve attitude. Uh, for match day, have a snack in your bag, extra socks, and some flip-flops or Crocs or something so that once you're off the court, your toes can get out of those tennis shoes and dance a little bit and enjoy some fresh air. Uh, the extra socks, it's always nice to have clean, dry socks on when you go out for that second or third match on a multi-match. So those things are awesome to have in your bag all the time. You'll need mosquito and gnat repellent and sunscreen. And please have that for yourself so that you're not often borrowing from somebody else. That's gonna happen but let's not make that a habit, we have our own. We will provide you with a uniform, which would be your top and your skirt, and hopefully also a bag to carry your uniform and equipment in. Uh, we have a limited number of bags, so we will do our best to uh, distribute those as best we can. Practices for the first week. Um, the first few days we'll have a longer practice and we'll take a short break for um, some food so we'll have everybody bring a sandwich or whatever to um, help to get them through the second part of practice which won't be probably more than an hour and a half at the most so um, figure we'll go a couple hours take a break and maybe go an hour and a half after that for just the first probably three days so hopefully that will work for everybody. Please be on time for practice or arrive early. Um, I may be late myself a couple of times, but that's because I'm working until 3.30 and have to change and then get over to the courts. So, But please be there early um, or on time. So talking will be kept at a minimum at practice. Um, the less distractions we have by people talking with each other, uh, more likely we can get done with practice a little bit sooner every day, so we eliminate the pract or the talking at practice and we'll all be a whole lot better off. Um, it's your competition time. It's your competition with yourself to improve your game, so make the best of it. 
develop and improve physical skills as well as mental toughness, confidence, focus, and self-motivation. Follow the acronym of CARE, committed, accountable, respectful, enthusiastic. Stay committed to the group, be accountable for maintaining a positive attitude, and be accountable for your performance. Be respectful of coaches, teammates, and opponents, and be enthusiastic about your involvement on the team and for your teammates' success. Practice times are always subject to change. We'll do our best to keep you updated and in the loop on any changes that might take place. We have the Remind app, and you may even get the emails through Skyward. Just depends on um, what the message is. If it's a long message, more than likely it'll be an email from Skyward. Um, if we have inclement weather, we would use the Panther Den as our alternative site. The, the uh, space there is great for practicing indoor tennis, and we're very blessed to have that facility to use. Matches, normally in a regular season, uh, we start out pretty fast with multi-matches, which is mostly varsity only, but we would probably take some JV or varsity reserve players along with us, those that are kind of inching their way into the uh, challenge match opportunities. So we would, again, talk to the kids. But um, when you see something on the schedule, until you're sure that you're not going to be going, you know, anticipate that that would include you as well. Uh, the schedule should show whether they are varsity and JV or varsity only or JV only matches. Uh, right now we have a couple of JV only matches um, scheduled at Toma, which is the multi-matches, so the kids will go out and play multiple schools. Uh, great opportunity for them, but again, this all depends on COVID-19 and what it does to the community, to the state, to the country, to the world. Um, we'll continue to try and get JV matches just because we never have a full schedule for them and we can't get out in the courts enough with, with the JV. We need to get out there more. Bus, de bus times will be determined and included on the schedule once we have a schedule provided again that we get to play. Um, when we do have an away match and even a home match, if your daughter needs a ride from you, please be at school on time to pick her up. Um, coaches have to wait until everybody's gone before they can leave, and we've already had a long day, uh, especially when we're in school. Brian and Carly are with students all day, and now they're at a match, and they just really want to get home, or I don't, I'm working from 7 to 3.30 or 3, whatever, for you know, and we're not getting back until 9 o'clock. It's just nice for us to get home as soon as possible, so please be there to pick them up on time. When we have home matches, we start at 4 p.m. Uh, if you want to be there, by 3.45 if you want to see your daughter introduced and uh, the lineups to, to happen before they go out onto the court. Um, we will do that at 3.50 and get the kids out on the courts. So they should start playing by 4 o'clock. Uh, JV matches would happen probably as soon as the first varsity match is done or potentially 5.15 to 5.30. Uh, it's hard to say. just depends on what the competition is and how closely matched the varsity flights are against one another. Um, before school starts and on Saturday matches, we ask that the, the girls are to the courts an hour before the match would begin. During school days, if they can be out there by 3.20 um, or as soon as possible after that, that's best. Um, we need time to get stretched out and warmed up before we actually play. Um, thankfully now we have eight courts so we can use one bank to do that and the visitors can use the other bank. Um, but still try and get out there as soon as you can after school. I know that's not always possible but we ask you to do your best. Okay, what's next? Um, again, all this depends on COVID-19. So team dinners are a great way for us to get some additional team bonding. Um, so if you're willing to host a team dinner, we'll, you can email me or we can, we'll figure out something once we know what our season is like so that we can get that out to parents and see if there's anybody who's willing to do that. 
team etiquette and coaching rules. Um, you can cheer and support the team or the doubles team single or singles player. However, we ask that you be respectful of other matches taking place. Um, we're playing on multiple courts, so when you get to be really loud, it's it's obviously heard on a court that's across the way or you know next door or whatever. So please be respectful of what's happening. And when you are cheering your court, your player, your daughter, your, t your daughter's team, please be respectful and cheer for the winners, but not for the um, errors that someone might have made. So if I'm playing against Brian and Brian makes an unforced error, we don't want to cheer that point necessarily. You want to just be respectful and just say, well, maybe, I don't know. It's hard to know what to do when you're out there. Um, you can't coach your daughter when she's out on the courts. The only people allowed to coach are the coaches, and only two coaches are allowed to go out onto the courts during a match. Um, and we can only be coaching the kids between odd games of a set, not including the first game. So we go out and talk to them after the third game of the set, after the fifth game of the set, um, after every odd game after that, and then between sets. So there's limited coaching that we can do. We can't be telling the girls, us or parents, uh, you know, head to her backhand because she's having trouble with her backhand or you need to get up to the net and, and take her on that way. Those are coaching things and we can't be doing that during play. Coaches can go out and tell, tell the kids that when they have their opportunity to get out there, but we can't have anybody, including parents, doing any coaching while the girls are on the court. You can say, good job, nice hit, great serve, those kind of things, but nothing that can help her to um, get an advantage on her opponent. We have scorekeepers on the courts. We know what ours are like. We have the panther colors. Um, scorecards could be red or black numbers, white number on a green background, green number on a, on a white background. We'll do our best to keep you informed as to which color goes to the West Salem girls, and that's going to vary on, on the courts that we play on. Everybody has different scorekeepers. Uh, it's important to get off to a really good start. Season records make a huge difference when it comes to the seating meeting at the subsectional. Conference matches are important as well to determine where you're placed for the conference tournament. And then conference play also determines who gets all conference honors. Um, so if that's a goal of yours, then you really have to work hard and start out with a bang and, and play well and be, success, be successful. Um, as far as the season goes this year, conference tournament is to be played in Barroqua, but we are hosting both the subsectional and the sectional at West Salem this year. Again, provided we have our season, but we're excited about that. Um, for one thing, it's great to host, and this would be the first year in a lot of years that we haven't gone up to Eau Claire for subsectional and sectional. So um, we're very lucky with that. If we end up having to use indoor courts for either of those events, we would end up going to Winona Indoor Tennis Center to take care of the, the, the subsectional and or sectional if weather doesn't allow us to play it outside um, on those days. Okay, so you can't have an activity without having um, successful fundraising. Our fundraising, for the most part, uh, we've, we have umbrellas yet to sell. Um, if you're interested in buying a Salem Panther umbrella, we have those. Those are $20. I probably have a dozen or so left, but if it's something that gets to be really popular, if people want to get them, we would certainly order more to sell those. That's been a great fundraiser. Um, great idea by Eileen Carnes to do that. We also sell um, concessions during the winter sports season, mostly basketball games. And we do that with uh, having a parent supervisor popcorn maker, and then the girls and guys to help sell the concessions themselves. 
and this is only successful because we have people that are willing to do this. Without you, um, it wouldn't be a success. We've been able to purchase things like ball machine, uh, help with um, the backboard that we used to have at the courts, at the old courts. We have training aids that we've purchased, uniforms that we purchased. When we go to Altoona for the overnight match, we pay for those hotel rooms for the kids with that activity account. Uh, we're hoping to get a new backboard on the courts, and that would be something that we would use our activity account to help pay for as well. So once, once we find out what the basketball, the winter sports season will be like, provided we get to have one of those, um, we'll let everybody know what days we get to sell admissions or concessions. Most of the time it's just concessions, but um, if we do choose to do admissions, we would let you know that as well. But then we would ask that you pick a couple of those days and um, help us out with earning money for our t tennis activity account. It goes to benefit everybody, so and uh, it's a pretty easy way of earning some money. Um, it's just that we need the help to do it. So I think that that's about all that I have for right now. Uh, if you have any questions, you can certainly email me at school, uh, Kamla, K-A-M-L-A, dot Julie, at wsalem dot k12 dot wi dot us. My cell phone number is 608-792-6918. So you can feel free to uh, call me or text me with questions. Please identify yourself if you do, because I would just be getting a number and not necessarily knowing who you are, and that's always helpful. Um, again, I don't know, you know, anything else. Um, I'm happy to answer your questions if I possibly can, and I am going to be one really, 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 really bummed, bummed, bummed coach if we don't get to have a fall sports season. Uh, it just, I think I'll cry for two months if we don't. Um, so thanks for listening. Please, please ask questions if you have them. I can also be reached at the district. My direct line at the, at the district is 608-7865-335. That goes right to my phone. If I'm not there, you can certainly leave a voicemail message for me, and I will get back to you as soon as I can. So God bless, and let's hope that this virus runs its course and gets the heck out of our lives. <laughs>